Hello, and welcome to Physics 132 for the fall 2020 semester. I'm Dr. Togerson, and I'm going to be the instructor for the lecture portion of this course. First of all, I want to acknowledge that six months ago, none of you were planning on taking this course, along with all your others, this way, remotely. In these trying times, your first priority is to take care of yourself and your family, however you define that term. Please reach out to me about any issues you might be having, not only with regards to the course, but also with regards to accessing other services. I fully believe that UMass Amherst has your best interest at heart, but sometimes bureaucracy can move a little slow. If you need someone to give the university a nudge, or you need to know where to go, or even just need $20 to eat this week, let me know and I'll do what I can. Knowing that you all will support each other also gives me great hope. Please keep an eye on the UMass Amherst COVID-19 page for the most up-to-date information regarding UMass specifically and the CDC for general information. In particular, I would like to point out the Center for Counseling and Psychological Health, CCPH, which provides mental health services primarily by telephone at 413-545-2337 and is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Links to these resources, as well as other resources listed in this video, are available in a table on the next slide. Please avail yourself of these services if you need them, even though most of you are away from campus. Second, I want you to be successful in this course. Whatever success means to you, and only you can define it, my goal is to help you achieve it. While I did teach this course in the spring and gained some experience teaching remotely, the remote version of this course is still a work in progress. Your feedback is not only welcome, but essential to making this course the best it can possibly be. Of course, I hope that you learn to appreciate the physics way of thinking. I firmly believe that learning new ways of thinking and approaching problems is not only generally important, but also key to the development of new scientific ideas. I feel that the huge advancements in modern science at the intersections of the disciplines of physics and chemistry and biology really bear this idea out. Furthermore, I also really believe that not only does science benefit from the strengths of the different disciplines, but also from the strengths of the different people doing that science and their various backgrounds. If there are aspects of the course that prevent you from learning or are making you feel excluded, please let me know as soon as possible. Together, we'll develop strategies to meet both your needs and the requirements of the course. As described later in this syllabus, for a significant portion of this class, you are responsible for your own learning. There are several resources available, however, detailed in the section, where can I get help below, and also listed on Moodle. However, each person learns differently. If your current habits are not yielding the results you want, please come in, reach out, and talk to me. I know quite a few techniques that I have used as a student that colleagues of mine have used or prior students of mine have used and found to be successful. We can work together to find techniques that work for you. Beyond the services offered within this course, the university also offers several resources. I encourage you to visit the Office of Disability Services to determine how you could improve your learning as well. The University of Massachusetts Amherst is committed to making reasonable, effective, and appropriate accommodations to meet the needs of students with disabilities and create a barrier-free campus. If you need official accommodations, you have the right to have these met. Also, there's a range of other resources on campus, including the Writing Center, the Learning Resource Center, and the English as a Second Language program. Lastly, a few words about the syllabus, as it may be different from those you have seen in the past. A lot of the content is available as videos like this one. However, in almost every case, you can also read the transcript next to the video. The content is the same. Whichever format you like, use it, use it. There's a few exceptions. For example, the computer tutorials, the transcript doesn't really do it justice, and so only video is available, but those videos are closed captioned. Second, I know the syllabus might be longer than you're expecting, but my link is an attempt to be as comprehensive as possible, not only with the policies of the course, but my reasoning for those policies. I want you to know where I'm coming from. The headings are designed to hopefully make it easier to navigate and find what you're looking for. Finally, embedded throughout the syllabus are a series of 
simple questions on the most important points. To make sure you're clear on how the course operates, you should answer each question. You have an unlimited number of times to get it right. And while these questions are not graded as such, you do need to answer all of them correctly in order to gain access to the homework for the course. Welcome to Physics 132, and now on with the details.